So the first critical choice that I made on my journey was to pick up the phone when my sister called. And at that point, I was at the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the pit. Right. Um, and I chose to answer the phone, which really meant I chose to change my life. Yeah. I think success begins with making first choices, whether they're practical or profound. Right. Will you share with us one of or a first choice that you made in your life where, where you're like, that impacted my journey to enduring success? Yeah, I think, again, I think you're going to find with me today, I'm going to do kind of a toggle between personal do and it. professional. Love right. It. Right. Yes. So I think for me, when I think personally, which is my biggest piece of enduring success, I think, um, number one, it was again about family and communication when they were, when my kids were very young and they're not so young anymore, but it was about being very open and transparent and my connection and communication with them to give them a space to always be very open and transparent with my husband and myself. So mm -hmm. I think that was the first choice I made there. How it, old were your kids when you consciously made that choice? I swear, believe it or not, I think probably when I first got pregnant, I was thinking of those I mean, types of things. However, wow. to your point, mm -hmm. of course, there's always a defining moment, right? Yeah, yeah. And I can remember a time where, and not to call out my husband, but a time where the kids were little, you know, we were scrambling to get things done on our one day off before we went back to work. And I remember, you know, my, there were two different episodes, but one time my husband saying, when are the kids going to be old enough that we can come home on a Friday night from work and say, you are going to watch your brother and your mom and I are going out to dinner. And I remember in that moment, I literally said to him, and when that day comes, we will be sad that they don't need us anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was also a time when, frankly, my oldest at one point, wanted to do something on, again, that one weekend day that we had as a family. And I would continually every weekend say, we have so much to do once we get this done, this done, this done. And God love him. I mean, he was probably four or five years old, but he, but he basically said, you always say that and we never get that stuff done. And I immediately <laughs> was like, oh my God, time out. He's so right. Right. So, so I think there were those moments at the same time, I think tying into professional, um, I also, as a young adult, remember out loud telling myself, even though it can be very uncomfortable and create anxiety, you need to take risks in your life. And I committed to myself I was going to take risks. So I think those were kind of the personal choice was the transparency and communication. And then I think also the personal identify identification of I'm going to take risks really help me professionally as well. And many times I think people know that there's a first choice that they should make. I mean, your career, at least for 32 years, your career has right. been inspiring and empowering individuals to make a first choice around their health or wellness or well-being. Yes, correct. Why are, why is it so hard to make a first choice? I think for most people, regardless of what that first choice is about, my experience has been it's fear of failure. So it's, um, you know, if I make that choice or I make that commitment and then I don't follow through on it, um, how am I going to view myself? Right. So I personally think that's a lot of times why people are really hesitating. Yeah. They want to make sure that they're all in before they take that step and either get rejected or fail or, you know, deal with another obstacle. So that's just my, mm -hmm. my take on it. Oh my gosh. And, and even me, I, I say even me all the time. I think, <laughs> I think, oh, I know that this is a first choice that I need to make in order to, yes. and then sometimes I just feel like I'm in a rut or I, I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to commit to the new formed habit, whatever exactly. it is. Exactly. But we know. Yes. Even if it's maybe even sometimes because it's a little choice, yeah. make that little choice, commit to it. And then, you know, yes. it can build up over time. Yes. Yeah. Agree. Totally agree. Thank you for joining me for our choose and become interview series. 
You could find this episode and others at trishkendall.com. Just go to trishkendall.com backslash choose dash become dash interview dash series. Or if you have a question or just want to leave a comment, email me trish at trishkendall.com.